G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today I'm going to be doing a video on camp locations. These are my favorite camp locations, but with a little bit of a twist. They're going to have friendly NPCs that you can build around. So if you do like your camp to have a little bit of life in it, uh, like I do, I did a video just recently on how to get a camp pet for your camp. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get friendly NPCs for your camp, although you will have to build around these NPCs. I will be showing you my first location. This one is pretty cool. I'm going to show you five locations today that have really cool NPCs that you can build around. The first one is located here just north of Tyler County Fairgrounds. So you just have to, when you spawn in, run down this road. Bear in mind there are a few enemies in the area, so just keep that in mind. I just want to run straight down this road. I'm going to show you how to get to all these locations as well, so that you don't get lost at all. Just turn down this road down here. You're basically running past the fairgrounds. Now you can see there is a little bit of uh, action around this area. So um, just bear that in mind. We do have raiders in the area as well, friendly raiders. But as you run down this road, you'll see a, a little building up here on the right. Just basically following the river. All right, so when you come up this uh, driveway, you'll see this is the location here. There are a couple of buildings, and you can see that there are three friendly settlers up here. So, where'd the other one go? So, over here. Now, they're just uh, settlers in the area. Let's get rid of these robots. And you could pretty much just build anywhere in this location. I'll show you how you can build. As you can see, the area is green when you bring up your camp and pretty much process anywhere around here. There's some wood down the back there as well. So yeah, this is a great location. If you do like to have NPCs, just bear in mind these guys can be killed. So they do have health bars and as you saw, there were some robots. So if you're going to build here, maybe build some turrets and things just to protect these guys a little bit better. But yeah, it just adds a little bit more of something exciting to your area uh, when you are building a camp. Okay, we're going to go on to the next location now. This is a really good location if you are a animal lover. And uh, we'll head off there now. Okay, we're at our next location. I'll show you on the map where we are. We're at the bottom right-hand corner of the map. We're at Welch Station and the, the town of Welch. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But when you spawn in, you're basically facing the station. You just want to run up these stairs over here, this little path, and head up this hill. I'm sure a lot of people are already aware of this location, but it is good to just be reminded of it. It is a really cool location. The view isn't that great up here, but it does have a cat. So if you're a cat lover, uh, like I am, then this is a great spot. So yes, uh, Murgle the cat is running around up here. Murgle is pretty cute and just lies around and, and purrs and yep, basically does cat stuff. So you can build your camp around this. I'll show you again that it is possible. So you basically just have to uh, pick a location and you can build around this. There are some structures here already that you can build in and around. So uh, it is a good spot for a camp. All right, we're going to head off to one of my favorite locations now. This one has a really cool, friendly NPC. I'm going to leave my favorite one to last, but uh, we'll head off to the next one right now, and I'll show you a really cool NPC you can build around. Okay, we are at our next location. This is at the White Spring Golf Club. I will show you on the map where that is. Um, it's just to the left of the actual White Spring North entrance. You can spawn in here when you're facing this particular building. You just need to turn around and run down through the car park and to the right here. And just over this hill, I have my camp already set up, but there is a little building here. And this building here is the, and these golf buggies is the part of the permanent camp. 
I will despawn the camp to show you what it looks like when I'm finished, but this little place here has a guy called Fritz in it. There he is there. Back in my day, the world wasn't such a shocking design. Okay, so he wanders around pretending to be a normal person. He's actually a raider in disguise, but you can find out more about him if you don't already. But Fritz is pretty cool. He uh, has a pretty cool accent and looks pretty cool as well. He comes out of the building and wanders around in this little bit of the car park here, drinks a few beers from time to time. And uh, I find this location is pretty good because it's pretty active. It's quite close to the White Springs area. Um, there's lots of activity in this area. So we get a lot of, uh, I guess, players running through this particular area as well. Uh, so yeah, this is a good location as well for a camp. I will show you what the location looks like. And I'll just quickly show you on the map where we are. As, it, as I could show you just down from the golf club. And I'll despawn this camp and show you what it looks like without a camp so you can have a look and see what it look, would look like to build it in yourself. Okay, this was what the location would look like if you didn't have a camp. You can see there's Fritz, he's still in the little driving range hut. So you can basically build into this area here. You can pretty much build all, anywhere around here, but there's a lot of flat terrain just here. Uh, and you can encircle this car park like I did. So this is a pretty cool location for a camp, I think. And it has a really cool NPC to have in your camp. All right, we're going to head off to our next location. Uh, this one is another animal lovers location. So we'll head off there now and show you where that one is. Okay, we are at our next location. This one is on the right hand side of the map just to the right of Harper's Ferry. It's the Harper's Ferry Tunnel. If you haven't got this location on your map just yet, but you're just basically running across from Harper's Ferry uh, via these bridges. You will, if you do spawn in here, just be facing the red door. You just want to come back a little bit and run to the right. I'll show you how to get there. You're just basically running up these stairs. There are a couple of ways you can get there. This is the easiest way. Pretty cool little uh, walk, if you ask me, up the side of the mountain. And this one, when it's not so, uh, I guess, hazy, has an excellent views as well. But you can see there's like little ladders, stairs all the way up. You just want to run out to the point up here. Basically facing back towards Harper's Ferry. Keep running to the end of this rock outlook. And just over here, you can see we have a dog. There he is. And but a great view when it's nice and clear up here. That view is amazing. It's a little bit on the hazy side today, um, but essentially you can build anywhere on this. I'll show you on, you can see, there we go. We have a, clear sign that we can build here so this is a really good spot to build a camp as well and you would have a dog in your camp so if you are a animal lover then this is going to be another great spot with a great view all right i'll show you where we are on the map just on the top of the hill up here you can actually come up from this uh grange as well uh, this is just a little bit of a jump you basically just you can see the grange is down in there and you've got some rocks that you've got to climb up. So if you have a jetpack and, and the ability to jump, it is a lot easier and quicker to get to. But uh, once you've built your camp here, you can just spawn in on this location. Just be careful of the fall when you are building your camp. But uh, there you go. Uh, location with a friendly dog. He's always up here. All right, we're going to head off to the last location. This is my favorite location by far um, and one of my favorite NPCs. I'll show you that location and I'm sure you're going to love it as well. Okay, guys, we're at our last location here. I'll show you on the map where we've spawned in. We're at Clarksburg. So when you do spawn in, you'll be facing Clarksburg and you can see my camp in the distance over there. So you just want to run straight down this road. But bear in mind, there are some feral ghouls in the area. So just keep that in mind as you run through the main street you'll pass this church and up on this little hill up here we have the reason I love this one so much 
we have a friendly NPC over here. Her name is Dr. Bethy Mangio. I hope I pronounced that correctly. You can interact with her as well. So she's an NPC that you can actually chat with and has a little bit of a story behind her. The other reason is this awesome view we have over here of the toxic lake bed. Uh, so this is a pretty cool location just because of the view and just because of the doctor here. Uh, she's doing a bit of an archaeological dig, I'm guessing, up here. And I just built my base around that dig, as you can see. So, yeah, pretty cool location for a camp. Let me know in the comments if you have some other locations that you know of that have really cool NPCs that spawn there all the time. Uh, there are locations that obviously just have, uh, you know, settlers that are, you know, cutting down wood and uh, fixing things and stuff like that. But if you've spotted a really cool NPC on the map that you can build a camp around, uh, please let me know in the comments. And uh, now if you did find this video helpful, please hit that like button. It helps me out heaps. Um, I'm pretty much just a uh, novice <laughs> YouTuber here and I do enjoy making these videos for you guys and we'll be doing more videos soon on Starfield as well when it comes out. And, and be continuing to do the videos on Fallout 76 as well. So hit that uh, subscribe button if you are liking these videos. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again guys for joining me. See you then.